Hello guys and welcome to episode 10 of my Baron of Vici campaign in Stone Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Previously we managed to disorganize more of the Soviet units and today we are going to be destroying their armor. We're going to be hitting the 16th Guards Tank Brigade, the 15th Guards Tank Brigade and the 3rd Tank Regiment at the bottom here in this turn. It's going to be pretty epic. So we'll probably start by attacking the 15th Guards Tank Brigade. Reason being is I think the 16th Guards would be reinforced by these. And if the 15th Guards gets pulled towards the 16th Guards, then we won't be able to attack them with the Panthers. So we'll probably attack them with the Panthers first. But before we do that, I mustn't forget to set up my fighters for this turn. We'll deny airspace over their airfield. That should prevent these IL-2s from getting involved. These have the 37mm guns in the wings. That's pretty nasty. They can tear through Panthers and Tigers very easily indeed. I'm glad I'm stopping those coming in. Anyway, let's attack like so. I'm only going to bring the units in phase A and this will stop the 1st Battalion of the 5th Cavalry Regiment from being dug in but ultimately I'd like to have 40 points to work with in phase A. So that's tactical battle. They're going to call in the other unit in phase C which will remove their action points and allow us to attack the other tanks without having to worry about them coming in in phase B. So that'll be good. Alright, so here we are. It's quite a big map actually, wow. Not sure how this is going to work out. I guess I'll probably want my Alphaclada Panther Ds for sure. But we'll probably have them in the places where it's open. So I guess on the right for the most part. I'm probably going to put down some infantry from the 5th Cavalry Regiment just to take the forested areas. So we could have uh, like the Jaeger Pioneers for example just spread out a bit into these trees. Like so. And then maybe I can have uh, like a Panzer Shrek with this one. Yeah, that should be fine. I could also put one uh, with these guys actually. If I have this Jaeger Pioneer Go to the forest by the road, and then we can put a Panzer Shrek with that. I think that makes sense. Okay. That will defend those two roads. I'll probably just have Panthers on the left, but I do want some recon. Do I only have motorcycles for recon? I think I do. Oh, I've got some Spätrup. Okay, cool. That might work. Is there any tall buildings here? There is the church building. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get to it, but we'll give it a go. If we can get to that church, it'd be perfect for managing our panther engagements. We'll, we'll grab a couple of uh, panther rays to send down these roads, or at least get into a position to attack the roads. Yeah, I'll probably just zoom them to there. Okay, so that's the left side sorted. The middle's kind of sorted. Uh, the right's more or less sorted, but I need to put down some infantry here, otherwise they won't hold the front line. I'll probably put some right here, go with MP44s into the trees, I guess. And I'm probably going to need uh, a unit for the town. These have Panzerfausts, actually, probably worth checking. No, they don't. So I probably want to put something with a Panzerfaust into the town so that I can kill T-34s if they get pushed. Although, ultimately, I should just be able to destroy any Panthers that get too close. Or any T-34, sorry, that get too close. Right, we'll have that one push up like so. And I'm going to need, I guess, a little squad to go up on this hill. So I'll probably have four. We'll have two go up this road. And we'll have two come to here and then go up there like so. I feel like we might be a little bit light on the right, so I'll, I'll probably put a Panther Fjord with that Panther D. I think that'll do. 
Let's launch the battle. We just got to identify where the T-34s are and then I can uh, mass my Panthers wherever needs be. But at the start, we may as well just make sure we control everything. We'll speed it up. They might not have enough troops actually to capture every point. So we'll probably find that one side of the map, yeah, like pushes up quite fast. Especially if they deployed only tanks at the start. And not much infantry. We'll definitely have like the speed advantage with these right Jaeger and stuff. Yeah, that's a lot of tanks there. Okay, I'm gonna bring this uh Alfkala Panther D over here and we'll have this just move up onto the ridge. This right Jaeger's gonna go into the town. I'm gonna unload this. Lovely. I may as well have my Pioneers and stuff move up. Give them attack move orders. Right, I'm going to leave these back on this side. Just in range to shoot anything that comes off the ridge. But my Panther D is going to be working over time on this right hand side. I need to make sure that I'm targeting the P-34s. Uh, let's go around this way. Okay, great. I um, guess I can just drive my Panthers up like so. That should be fine. How are we doing against that T-34? Bounce just then. It's okay. Uh, just my car 98 firing from this right Jaeger. We did manage to get the crew kill onto the T-34. We're currently running 19 to 7 on the flags, which is way better than I thought it would be. I just haven't defended the right or left side of the map. It's just everything coming in in the center. Oh, lovely armor crack there. Beautiful. Right, let's have one of these zoom up and engage the M2A1. Have one just sit on the edge. Might have to be careful of like AT. Maybe like um I don't know, they won't have any rockets though, will they? Won't have any like, panzer strikes and stuff. That's odd. Alright, let's bring up a, a Spatrip to this church. So that I can see what's going on. I'll get this out of color. To keep pushing up. I've got a Panther, uh, Panther D. I think I'm going to need some more infantry for the center here because I think there's a Tango Dasaniki there. Oh, shoot a knockout, load a knockout. Lovely stuff. Yeah, now we've cut off this road, there's no chance. All of these new units they're bringing in are just going to get wrecked. Right, so that's an M2A1. Right, let's bring in the Alfkala Panzer IV to kill that. Five minutes until victory though. I do need to pay attention to this battle however. I can probably start maybe Speeding up in a bit. I'm glad the Sapelli aren't using their <laughs> HE there. That would be really awkward if they were. They're one meter out of range. <laughs> I'm gonna unload the Spear Thrip early. They could actually kill some of these tankos for us. It's quite a lot of infantry actually. I guess there was a lot of half tracks. That's one tanko down. Ah, the classic. <laughs> the classic put a guy in the church. 
Thankfully they got out of the church and before it got destroyed. Because I want to use that church for my spear trip. <laughs> Let's just uh, move my spear trip towards them. Oh, hello T-34. Gotta be careful of that. I'm going to put the spear trip on to return fire. Okay, major defeat for the enemy in one minute. We've done well. Uh, this has been a pretty simple battle. Right, now we can speed things up probably. There's another T-34 in the way. I do want to make sure I'm killing as many of these T-34s as possible. I don't want to just disorganize. I kind of want to destroy them. But I really haven't killed enough of them. To destroy them. And we did manage to get a total victory. But I don't think that's really going to matter. 7 minutes, 13 seconds. 37 kills, 0 losses. Great. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 T-34s in the end. Alright, let's see what that does. Oh, it did actually destroy them. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But it has left our guys surrounded. Is there a way for us to fix that? I guess I could maybe use the Cossack Battalion to connect the 507th and then that will encircle all of these guys. Um, let's do that. That will leave us with enough movement range to move away from the other units anyway, so there we go. Perfect. Uh, then I can move up here. Cool. So not only are they all disorganized, <laughs> they're also surrounded. Uh, so that's going to save my cavalry regiment any all leg there, which is good. It means I don't have to engage these guys necessarily with my tank destroyer battalion. Now I would engage with the tank destroyer battalion onto the self-propelled artillery, um, but the issue we have if we do that is we have no frontline presence because Panzer strikes don't push the front line. Uh, I guess we maybe have enough Grenfjörder, but I couldn't let any of those die. Look at that though, 36 Panzer Shreks in each of those companies. <laughs> uh, crazy. Right, let's um, attack the 16th Guards. Probably just going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. This one. I have a lot of units, like, aside from T-34s as well. Don't know whether to just bring in something just in case, like maybe the 5th Panzergram Regiment in Phase C. On this top side, I'm probably just going to destroy these with the remains of the 29th Panzer Regiment. So I don't need the 5th Panz Panzergram Regiment. Like, we'd just auto-resolve that, right? Yeah. And then we can destroy these guys. Okay, cool. And then that's about it. My security division pushing up to the top side of the map there. Yeah, we may as well just leave it as is. I need to just move them back slightly and then move them back forwards. It doesn't really matter if they have enough points to help out here. I don't think there's anything that this 32nd Guards Cav can do. Now we're making massive ground now. Alright, let's make this happen. I would bring in these guys to back us up in Phase B, but they don't have transports. So it's completely pointless. So let's just bring the 5th Panzergrens with us. I guess I could also bring an aircraft to give us extra points in Phase A. But uh, it doesn't seem necessary. Alright, it's tactical battle. Jump on in. They have a lot of units, just not many points to reinforce. Like, we're going to be the same. I guess 20 points. Ooh, I'm not a fan of the map, though. 
Not gonna lie. This map doesn't really favour us at all. Hmm. Alright, well we need uh, one of these on each road. Like at close range, the T-34s are really going to hurt. So I'm tempted to almost like relinquish some points on the left and the right. I mean, the right should be okay if I can get into a position, say, here and engage them down the road. Like, that might be okay. We'd probably have to double up on that, I think. Everywhere else is fine, I think. Uh, so, for example, we'll come up onto the edge of this hill. I'll probably have another one on the hill. So. And then maybe Pioneers somewhere. I guess I could put Pioneers on the left. I might slow them down. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Alright, we'll launch it as is. Last time they only brought in like a couple tanks at the start. It was mostly infantry and stuff. Looks like the right might be opened up. Maybe not. I'm really going to have to pay attention as soon as we see any units. I'm going to bring up like three units of Spiritrup so I can see where the enemy are. But ultimately I'm going to want to get, say, on top of this hill on the right and on top of this hill further up on the left Okay, so we have the right. Let's just move up onto this hill for the time being, and then we'll push across to the edge of the hill there. Alright, that's good. So far, so good. Let's move the half track up to see what's ahead of us. Because I'm worried about moving up this tiger. That's fine, that's a decent engagement for us at range. Uh, probably going to move up this tiger, although I'm a little bit worried about this ridge. Bring in another tiger here. Oh, that one's bailed out. Oh dear. Good. Um, hmm. I guess I'll have to drive around with the tiger. I'm a little bit worried about the Schpeterup. We need these tigers to do their work. I'm surprised I got bailed out. I mean, I don't have any supply until phase B, so I'm just going to have to defend it with another tiger for the time being. Right, if I can get my half track up there, then probably get, be able to get my tiger up here. Which is fine. I'm just going to pull that back, put them on return fire, now they're on one health, and um, we can move them forwards again once they're hidden. I'm going to need another tiger to come up to this point on the right. We'll get that going. And this tiger, I'm probably going to have to drive forward so that we can engage this party. That got forced to fall back. Not entirely sure why. Hopefully by no AT grenades or anything. And eventually we'll have like an overwhelming advantage because my Tigers have killed their T-34s already. So we'll just constantly have more troops on the field than they will. I could maybe use Navclutter on the right. 
A little bit concerned about these Saperdi. They get too close, that's not going to be good at all. They're currently falling back towards us. Oh, there goes the Tenkos. So it might have just been the half tracks that got the better of the of my half tracks. Okay, there's still something enemy here, surely. Keep a distance from these tankos, that's for sure. Okay, let's move up this space rope, and um, I'll probably move up the one in the center as well. I need to get into a position where I can engage these T-34s at range before they get too close. I think I've just missed the mark with that one. It's going to be a, I'm going to have to engage it here instead, which is very risky. Very risky indeed. Hmm. That's awkward. Let's keep moving forward as the Tigers in the center. I might need another on the left. We'll bring in the Befill Tiger there. Fine. This Tiger moving up this close is pretty risky, especially if T-34s come down this road. Like that. Because this is a chance for the T-34 to get, actually get a kill. But never mind. <laughs> when Tiger got the job done. All right, all right. This one can start moving up now. I'm gonna plant that on the road. We'll have uh, this stay up on top, and we'll have another one coming on the right hand side there. Cool. I'm not sure what's capping this, but we'll push the tiger onto it, and hopefully we've taken care of the T34 on the left, because otherwise that might kill my tiger at some point. Um, I guess we're kind of forced to move up with the Tigers because that's the only thing we have until phase C. Gonna have to be careful if there's Radvedka though. That's uh, not good at all. They have their bazookas. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tell that to stay where it is for the time being. I'd love to move up with my Spetrup, but... That one's on such low health. I guess I could bring in like a pioneer squad here to engage the infantry. That would be the way to do it. Oh, there's a half track, uh, not a half track, a T-34 there. We got a kill. It's coming through. Um, hopefully I can get line of sight with the tiger. It will have penetration at this range onto us. Oh, the loader kill. Okay. We should be okay. But that's annoying, with transmission damage on top of that hill. I guess there are worse places to be transmission damaged, but still. Well, destroyed even. Alright, it's a total victory. And those Vidka, I guess, are trying to push forwards again. Yep. Take them out. Goodbye. Poor guys getting absolutely demolished. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, they've only got two points remaining. Uh, because that's transmission destroyed, it might get side shot.
Hopefully that counts as forward facing, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, that bounce at distance there. Only 18 seconds. Another bounce. Okay. Oh, hello, Tenko Desaniki. Oh, that's crew killed on the right hand side there. Probably got side shot, I guess. Saved by the bell. Total victory. Didn't lose a single tank, just the crew. <laughs> All right. Well, plenty of T-34s killed. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough to actually destroy the tanks completely, but I guess we'll find out. We did manage to do it last time. We only killed five T-34s this time around, but total victory might just destroy them. Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's two sets already destroyed. I haven't even started breaking down these disorganized units yet. We are in range to attack some of them. Probably be best uh, pushing into the 30th Guards Cavalry Regiment. The only issue with attacking here is that the 19th Motorized Battalion is not currently disorganized. So I've got to be careful because like some of these units could fight back in the next turn. All right, next one, 3rd Tank Regiment. This one's going to be more simple because we don't have any like scary infantry to worry about. No Rasvidka, no Tango Desaniki. It's just going to be a straight out one-on-one -on -one and I'll probably pull in the... Uh, let's see. Can we attack that in phase over those? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we don't want to use those. I'll probably pull the 3rd Battalion of the 509th down. Uh, maybe we just don't need to. Maybe we can just do like a one-on-one. -on -one. Because I kind of want to save these units to attack into this lot. These are very, very weak, so we can probably kill those off. I think we're just going to attack on its own with uh, Group Hardneck. Actually, the 33rd Panzergrans would be okay to bring in. Yeah, let's bring those guys in. And I'm not going to bring in any fighters. All right, let's tactical battle. This gives us some pioneers in phase B. Like their phase B, they're gonna have a lot of stuff, but so far, like all of these battles in phase A, we've basically won. So we'll see. This is different though, because this is actually a breakthrough battle. So it's gonna be a little bit different. It's actually gonna be harder potentially. I'm gonna need recon. We'll have recon there. And a tiger. Um, I'll have a recon. And then a tiger. Because it's just going to be T 34s. It's pretty much the only thing they have. Is that it for recon? Oh, that's really sad. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we'll just have to go tigers. They're going to see us coming first every single time. It's going to be really, really hard to play this. At least the map's relatively small. I mean, you saw before, though, that we were getting crew killed and stuff, so this is tough. Maybe I should have brought all of the stabs back here. It's, it's maybe a choice. Uh, I might have to unload these early so they don't get sniped by the T-34s. Okay, so we're There we go. Thank God for recon, huh? They won't actually have that many tanks to begin with. So once we kill a few of them, we'll probably see the front line start to break quite fast. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, we might lose that. <sighs> that's not good. At least we're engaging it from across the ridge here as well. Oh, 
damn. My tigers are not doing well. It's a three-star tiger. At least we have munitions trucks this time around that we can actually repair stuff if we need to. Okay, good. We managed to kill the one on the left. Did lose a tiger for it, but that's okay. I'm gonna bring in another tiger for the right. We can see how the uh, the front line pushes very quickly now. Oh, nice bounce there. And crew kill. Job done. All right now we need to get up onto this hill. Tune in later. that we can engage them before they get too close. Like, I'm gonna want a tiger to get through here ASAP. I'm gonna want a tiger to push up onto the edge of that ridge. We're gonna have this one move up like so and head across. Still one here somewhere that I've gotta be careful about unless it's an infantry squad. On the left, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. <laughs> we need to find a place where I can sit up on top and shoot down the road whilst having another tiger in front of us. Alright, so we found whatever it was just there. I don't think it's a tank, so we'll probably just go and attack here. I think it was a half track of some sort. Alright, the other place we're going to want to get to is up on this hill, but. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, that's the commander dead. Let's keep pushing across there. I'll have this one move to cover the main road in the center. Let's get some Stabsvaka to come up and, and take these points ahead. This is like really awesome. I kind of like the thought of how these guys might be like just commu communicating with each other, like telling them about the, the different parts on the front, like moving individually though. Seems really cool. Like an even spread of tigers just pressing the front line. Ooh, I'm going to have to be careful about that. Bring up another tiger on the left. This is going to be really difficult engagement though. I feel like that T-34 is going to get the better of my tiger. Oh, nice. Oh, the one shot. Beautiful. Saves me so much. <laughs> Same with this tiger, if it can get the kill. Oh, the chance that that could have penetrated. I might be able to engage that T-34, yeah, with the tiger on the hill, that's fine. And now we're in position on the edge of the hill. They have no chance. This is a little bit of a dodgy engagement for us, but we'll let it fire. Pull back. Oh. I was hoping it wouldn't actually be able to fire, but never mind, I guess. Oh, 
Job done the second time round. Oh, shots coming in from the right now as well. Oh, that's not good. This tiger's got to save the day. Oh, it will pin the pin them down regardless. Okay, lovely. So we lost one tiger. I think that's I think that's acceptable. Considering the terrain, not too bad at all. I speed things up a bit. Yeah, we've done well. This is going to be probably a third tank unit destroyed. We're not even in phase B yet. Shame these guys don't have Panzerfaust. That would be pretty useful. Since there is a tank somewhere around here. There's going to be another T-34 dead. We definitely killed way more in this battle than any other. So 38 kills, 3 losses. Just all T-34s. So that is 12 in total for one Tiger. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping that that tank regiment would get stuck there. The thing is, I couldn't attack them preemptively as a disorganized unit because the tanks would have reinforced right next to them. But I just noticed what that has done is it's pulled these guys out of their defenses. Okay, then. Well, time for the grenadiers to just wipe these guys out. Yeah, we'll probably just uh, do singular battles like so. And uh, we'll tactical battle this. Jump on in. They barely have any troops left, so... We'll just need to overwhelm them. Oh, it's quite a big map though, that's annoying. Alright, well, at least we have transports. And Panzergrens. Good old Panzergrens. Grenadiers. Not sure they'll even have enough to buy everything. <laughs> like, they have. They won't have enough uh, availability to spend all of their points. <laughs> Which is going to be quite amusing. So we'll probably just to have like a big old gap on the front line somewhere. Probably on the left or the right. I'm kind of tempted to just save a few infantry units for like after the start. We do have a couple of Stug 4s we can bring in. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let it start and then we'll see where the infantry end up and then we'll go from there. So we'll just speed it up. See where the resistance is before we commit too much. Looks like it might be quite a lot in the town. Potentially. I wonder if they'll let me kill that. Right, let's bring in the IG on this left hand side since there's quite a lot of infantry there. I'll probably bring a Stug up here with an IG as well. I'm surprised those Sepadi are doing so well in the open. Uh, let's move that Grenadier across. We'll keep moving these up on the right hand side. I can move up these guys. Lovely. Get the other Stug in there. Got to be a bit careful of the amount of Strauki in the center. We do, of course, have the IG on its way. Speed things up. 
I just need this IG to be in range and then we can unload it. We've always the SDK of Z7. We can engage from like max range. Great. Maybe bring in my mortars. What's the range on this? 750? Oh, I thought it was like a thousand. Never mind. Never mind. Should be fine. Oh, they're all like right on top of each other. Go on, IG. Hit them right square in the middle. Oh, so much. So much damage done. That kills so many soldiers. <laughs> when the smoke clears and you can just see all the bodies. Not often you see a Stug Fort. Take a good look while you can, guys. <laughs> Normally Stug 3s. Oh, the Resvedka there might actually hurt quite badly. Yeah, they barely have enough to hold the front line right now. Let's unload these. Let's start mortaring that area where the avatos are. And then I'll probably want to the mortar the area where the Razvedka are. Oh, never mind. Don't need to do that. They are probably already dead. Especially if they run into that mortifier. Good. Not long now. One minute left. If we take the rest of the points, we should be in a good spot. Like that will probably finish it very quickly. If I move these guys over to the left a bit more, I'll be able to get some pressure on here. Although the IG firing away should kill a lot of these. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's it, that's going to be pretty much every flag captured, and that's going to end the game in 20 seconds. Beautiful. Demolished. That's pretty much every unit they had dead. Good. And now we, we will attack the 2nd Battalion of the 35th. And then I'll probably move these up, I think, because the 134th is probably going to recover next turn. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we will demolish these disorganized units with any units that have enough action points to kill one. Uh, we will continue those battles on the bottom side, and then we'll move on to the next turn and see how far we get. I mean... It's not going to be long until we can just move all the way down to the airfield. I think we can always get, already get pretty far. Yeah, we can. But they're, of course, going to be bringing in more reinforcements each turn, so we'll see. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.